Imagine facing challenges so unique and intense that they seem designed just for you. This video investigates profound and transformative experiences that only a select few will navigate. Experiences that test boundaries, provoke deep questions, and ultimately set you apart. These are not just random events, they are markers of a distinct journey destined to shape and define you. By understanding these moments, you will gain insights into why life sometimes pushes you down the most arduous paths and how these paths are crucial to your personal growth. Have you ever come across an ordeal that reshaped your understanding of yourself or the world? Perhaps it's a sign that you're treading a path that few others have. This exploration will not only satisfy your curiosity, but will also equip you with the resilience and perspective needed to face these challenges head on. How do these experiences shape your character and what can they teach you about your purpose in life? Let's discover the profound impacts these unique trials have on those who are chosen to face them. The initial and most significant experience you will face as a chosen one is being labeled as crazy, weird, or any other term people can come up with. This is because you have the gift of discernment. By discernment, I mean the ability to see what is really going on in this world. We know that Satan the devil rules this world and his kingdom of darkness exercises power over it. We, the chosen ones, can discern the workings of demons and evil spirits through people. We can also detect when angels are communicating with us. As Hebrews 13.2 advises, we must not forget to welcome strangers, for in doing so, some have inadvertently hosted angels. When you are filled with the Spirit, you can see not only the forces of darkness, demons, devils, but also angels. This discernment is a gift of the Holy Spirit. Every chosen person has the Holy Spirit. You simply can't claim to be chosen without it. But how can we receive this gift? The first step is to approach God with a sincere heart and a deep desire to know the truth. You must seek God's presence through prayer, meditation on His Word, and active participation in a community of faith that believes in the power of the Holy Spirit. In doing so, you begin to develop a deeper relationship with God, allowing Him to transform your life and open your spiritual eyes. As you continue on this journey of faith, you will find that spiritual challenges and insights intensify. There may be moments of doubt or confusion, but it is crucial to keep the faith and trust that God is guiding your path. Spiritual discernment is not only about recognizing spiritual entities, but also about understanding life situations in the light of God's will. Furthermore, it is important to remember that this gift must be used with humility and love. Discernment is not a tool for judgment or condemnation, but rather a means of offering guidance and help to others on their spiritual path. Over time, you will learn to balance spiritual wisdom with compassionate love, reflecting the true nature of God in all your actions and words. The second thing to understand is that you may be misunderstood or even slandered, which is associated with spiritual battle. As described in 1 Corinthians 12, receiving a spiritual gift can provoke intense reactions in people during the early stages of its use. Some may feel threatened or embarrassed by your abilities, which are part of the demonic struggle to prevent you from achieving your mission. Be prepared to be mislabeled and misunderstood, a common battle among the chosen. Being a chosen one also means that you will often be rejected by the world. This is due not only to your own identity, but to the representation of who you are. As John 15, 18 to 21 points out, if the world rejects you, remember that Christ was the first to be rejected. However, there is a glimmer of hope. Other chosen people will approach you, creating sincere connections and relationships founded on spiritual kinship. These people follow the path of Christ and obey His commandments. However, it's crucial to remember that resistance doesn't only come from outside. 
Matthew 10, 34-36 warns that sometimes the adversaries are within your own family. It may be that members of your family, those closest to you, don't understand your calling and unwittingly act as agents of the adversary. They may not understand the reason for their opposition, which may be rooted in their own spiritual battles or a simple reflection of their insecurities. Therefore, it is essential to develop resilience and understanding in relation to the reactions that your spiritual path can trigger in others, whether due to external challenges or internal family conflicts. Cultivating patience and empathy will be crucial to maintaining internal peace and strengthening your bonds, even in the face of misunderstanding or resistance. In addition, it is important to seek support in your spiritual community and among those who share your faith and purpose. These alliances provide encouragement and strength, allowing you to remain steadfast in your mission despite adversity. Remember that in the midst of difficulties, Connecting with others who recognize and value your spiritual gifts can provide the support you need to overcome obstacles. The third relevant experience is that your spirit can cause disturbances in others. Have you ever wondered why some people seem to dislike you for no apparent reason, or why you provoke intense reactions without making an effort? This is because your aura, charged by the Holy Spirit, disturbs the demons that reside within them. Although some of this hostility may seem to be directed at you, it is often a reflection of these people's inner spiritual conflicts. Remember, these obstacles are elements of the path of one who is chosen. They exist to strengthen you and prepare you for your divine mission. As we explore these aspects, realize that your experiences are confirmations of your choice and of the Holy Spirit working through you. Know that, while carrying the Holy Spirit, His mere presence can trigger reactions in those who are guided by adverse spirits. Even living as purely as Christ, who fed the needy and helped the homeless, He still faced opposition. Christ, even without sin and with altruistic attitudes, was not free from hostility. Therefore, it is clear that his integrity does not exempt him from being targeted by individuals under the influence of evil forces. Therefore, it is important to understand that the presence of the Holy Spirit in your life can inadvertently reveal the true natures of other people around you. These negative reactions, although painful, are indications that you are walking the right path, aligned with divine and spiritual values that challenge the negative influences in the environment around you. As you face these adversities, strengthen yourself with the awareness that each challenge is an opportunity for growth and affirmation of your faith. It is not only a test of endurance, but also a chance to demonstrate the strength and peace that the Holy Spirit can offer in the midst of life's storms. View every opposition as a reflection of the spiritual battle taking place in the unseen, and stand firm in the knowledge that you are protected and guided by a greater force. Finally, remember that the journey of one who is chosen is not only marked by struggles, but also by victories and moments of deep spiritual connection. As you persist on this path, your inner light will grow, and with it, your ability to positively impact those who are ready to receive the truth. Stay focused on your mission, strengthened by the certainty that every difficulty you face is a cornerstone in building your spiritual legacy. Now let's address the fourth essential aspect for those who feel called or who are beginning their spiritual journey. Unwavering determination is fundamental. Being chosen implies a deep commitment to this life path. One must never give in, especially when facing sin and engaging in spiritual battles, even if failures occur, because, as the Bible tells us, a righteous man may fall seven times, but he gets up. Proverbs 24, 16. It is vital to stand up after each fall. This perseverance is what distinguishes the chosen from the unbelievers. True repentance means renouncing sin definitively, 
with the intention of not repeating the mistake, a notion that requires not only genuine repentance, but also a profound change in heart and attitudes. God will test you, as will the devil. While the devil tries to lead you astray, God provides the strength and resources to overcome these temptations. As expressed in 1 Corinthians 10.13, God always presents a way to overcome the obstacles faced. Therefore, a true chosen one persists in the fight, armed with the armor of God, firmly withstanding challenges and resisting temptations. This journey is not easy, but it is rewarding. Remaining faithful and resilient in the midst of adversity not only strengthens the spirit, but also purifies the character. Each challenge overcome is another step in the spiritual ascent, bringing the chosen one closer to their true essence and divine purpose. It is crucial to remember that one is not alone on this path. The community of faith and sacred teachings serve as a support and guide. In addition, prayer is a powerful tool, a constant dialogue with the divine that sustains and renews one's inner strength. The practice of prayer and meditation helps keep the mind clear and the heart open to receive the guidance needed to move forward. The fifth point addresses the issue of withdrawal. There are times when the divine will take you apart in order to build you up. Throughout the scriptures, various prophets and followers faced periods of isolation that were crucial to their spiritual development. For example, look at Daniel in the lion's den. Despite being physically alone, he was protected by angels sent by God, who closed the lion's mouths. Job also experienced isolation during his trials losing everything but eventually seeing his fortunes restored, showing that divine designs include periods of preparation and strengthening. Even Jesus, called Yeshua, sought solitude on the mountaintop to pray, highlighting the importance of withdrawing from the world in order to connect deeply with the Father. Similarly, Joseph was isolated after being betrayed by his brothers, but this isolation was part of God's plan to elevate him. David also faced periods of isolation while being persecuted by Saul, being both a test and a protection. Elijah was isolated to safeguard him from Jezebel's fury. These stories from Scripture show that isolation can be a heavenly tool to test faith, build character, and prepare for greater responsibilities. These moments of isolation may seem lonely and difficult, but they are actually periods of preparation and refinement. They provide us with the opportunity to reconnect with our spirituality, to reflect on our purpose, and to strengthen ourselves inwardly for the challenges that lie ahead. Just as biblical figures faced their periods of isolation with faith and courage, we too can draw inspiration from their stories to face our own moments of loneliness and adversity. Always remember that, just as iron is forged by fire, we are shaped and polished through the difficulties we face. The sixth point lies in the divine promise to endow individuals with a wide range of talents or spiritual gifts. It is crucial to understand that these abilities should not be a source of pride or superiority, but rather a means of benefiting others. As outlined in 1 Corinthians chapter 12, these gifts are given to strengthen the Christian community. They aim to enhance wisdom knowledge, the ability to prophecy, hope, and faith among the faithful. For those who have not yet fully realized their spiritual gifts, it is essential to maintain obedience and follow the right path, trusting that God will enlarge them over time. As we face new challenges at higher levels, we also receive opportunities for spiritual growth. As we progress, new obstacles may arise, but facing them allows us to expand our spiritual capacities. It's a process of continuous growth, where overcoming challenges strengthens our connection with the divine. Therefore, when facing such adversities, remember that each victory leads us to a deeper understanding of our spiritual gifts and enables us to help others in a more meaningful way. So instead of being discouraged by difficulties, we should see them as opportunities to develop and share the talents that God has given us. 
The seventh point deals with the benefits granted to the elect not only by God, but also by those around them. As mentioned in Luke 2.52, even Christ at the beginning of his ministry obtained both divine and human approval. This double approval does not imply that all interactions will be favorable. Although you will face resistance and hostility from the world, you will also find individuals inspired by the divine to recognize and support your mission. This favor is not aimed at personal advantage, but at facilitating the accomplishment of the divine will. When receiving more gifts and favors, it is essential to remain humble. Humility should be the foundation of your journey as a chosen one ensuring that you manage blessings and responsibilities diligently. This divine favor is not meant to promote a personal interests, but rather to strengthen your ability to fulfill God's purpose. When you are bestowed with additional gifts and favors, it is essential to maintain modesty as a fundamental foundation. Humility will ensure that you manage your blessings and responsibilities with wisdom and integrity. By adopting modesty as a foundation, you recognize that the gifts and favors you receive are not your merits alone, but gifts granted by a greater force. This awareness keeps your mind and heart open, allowing you to use them for the greater good, rather than for selfish advantage. Humility is also a protection against arrogance and arrogance, which can cloud your vision and divert you from the right path. It keeps you connected to your humanity and the humanity of others, reminding you that everyone is equally subject to the vicissitudes of life. In addition, humility promotes gratitude, recognizing not only the blessings you receive, but also the contributions of others who have helped you along the way. This creates a cycle of generosity and kindness that strengthens not only you, but the entire community around you. So, as you are bestowed with additional gifts and favors, Keep modesty as your moral compass. It will guide you through the storms of life and help you navigate with integrity and wisdom towards the fulfillment of the greater purpose. So, my friends, these seven points encapsulate the path and experiences of the Chosen Ones. Whether it's facing the spiritual battle, accepting retreat in order to mature, or employing their skills for the benefit of others, each element represents a step towards achieving their divine mission. This journey is not just a personal quest, but a service to humanity and the divine. By committing themselves to this higher purpose, the Chosen Ones transcend their own limitations and become agents of transformation in a world that so desperately needs love, compassion, and wisdom. May they go forward with courage and determination guided by the light that dwells in their hearts. If you have stories to tell or have felt God's help in a special way, I invite you to share them in the comments below. Let's keep talking and supporting each other on our spiritual journeys. Don't forget to like the video if it touches you and subscribe to see more content like this. Thank you very much for your support and participation. Peace and blessings to all, and remember, you are not alone on this journey.